Hello, I want to show you how to connect the DEQ2496 to the PC. I'm using a ProDipe interface, it's a well working interface. If you look on the backside from the DEQ, you will see the three MIDI connectors. They are marked with OUT, THROUGH and IN. If you have a look on the interface, I hope you see that in close up, one plug is marked IN and the other plug is marked OUT. The important thing is, that you have to connect the plug which is named OUT to the IN of the DEQ and otherwise the plug what's named IN to OUT of the DEQ. The through connector of the DEQ remains free. Now simply connect the cable to a free USB port on your computer. If your interface is class compliant, the driver will automatically be installed by Windows. If you have an interface like a Roland USB interface, they have their own driver, so you have to install the driver which is delivered with your USB interface. Now it's time for step 2 and set up your DEQ in the utility menu. Now I want to show you how to set up the DEQ2496 to work with my tool. Go to the uh, utility, press twice and now you see the list of MIDI setup. Set all settings to on. Now it's time to install DQ2496 control on your Windows PC. DQ2496 control must be installed as an administrator. MIDI OX can't register DLLs in Windows 10 if it's not running as administrator. Simply follow the installer. Let the installer create a desktop icon if you like. If MIDI OX is already installed on your computer, you don't need to install it again. If you are running Windows XP, maybe that you have to install the VB6 one times. To install MIDI OX, simply follow the installer. After the installation is completed, you see my readme. This is the same as you see now in this video. Now it's time to set up MediaOX. Start MediaOX and choose Option and MIDI Interfaces. Set at least one input and one output MIDI interface. It's very important that you close Medio X now. Now you can start DQ2496 control the first time. Press on the lookup button and your DQ will be searched. If it's found, now the DQ modules button will be enabled. Just for example, press DQ to see the graphic equalizer and you can change the values whatever you like. Please note. Video X will be started with my tool directly from my tool. Please don't start it before because then the MIDI interfaces will not be found. Media OX will be closed automatically if it's not longer in use. That's it. Now have fun with my tool. <laughs>